So the easiest way that I try and say it is if you think of a Ferris wheel, how you'd move a Ferris wheel, you'd have to push or pull down on one side of the Ferris wheel, and that would create a torque in a direction either way, this way. And then if you see a merry-go-round, if it's laying flat on the ground and you spin it, you'd have to apply a force on either side or opposing sides, and that would spin it in that direction. Uh, and then the other one is sagittal playing torque. So looking down the line view, how would you pitch the body more steeply forwards or into extension? Um, and uh, what we found is by looking at all the data is most tour players, anything they talk about is rotational values because they have high values of frontal plane torque. So they don't talk about frontal plane torque much because they have it. And if you have too much frontal plane torque going like a Ferris wheel, it tends to be better for the drive than it is for a wedge. And it also would tend to create a bit more of a shallowing of the downswing uh, of the hand path because of the way the pivot would move. Um, and so tour players have that in gobs. And so they can then talk about how would they move the Ferris wheel in a rotary fashion. And so a lot of tour players, if you said, I like so-and-so swing, you probably would see a fairly balanced frontal plane torque with a horizontal plane torque. Um, Blake and I have tested a bunch of tour players at this point, a bunch of amateurs. We went to Titleist, we went to TPI, we looked through all of their data. We haven't found one tour player yet that has higher horizontal plane torque than they do frontal plane torque. They may have a balance of those two, but we haven't had anybody yet that has higher horizontal than frontal. And if you think of the modern game, you have to drive it well. And so they're driving it well and hitting wedges well enough. If you get really, really good at horizontal, you may be better with your wedges. You probably won't have many, though, because your driver's unlikely going to be as good. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I want my players to be as good as possible with wedges, but I want them to hit more wedges. That would be the way I can. That's one way to get that's better. That's the way. Yeah, that's one way to get better. Be average with wedges, but have seven of them versus one phenomenal one and, and the rest of four and five irons. That doesn't work. Well, 